So Stella Crown has finally arrived and I am excited for this set so much so because of one product and one product only. And that is the three pack blister that features a new Latias promo with that nice Cosmo foiling. I'm a huge Latios fan, my favorite legendary of all time. Shout outs to the Pokemon movie featuring Latios and Latios, Pokemon Heroes. If you guys have never seen it, 100% recommend it. But I've been a fan of Latios since then. And uh, this blister came out today. So today we're going to open up not only the Latios blister, but the Tinkaton blister, which I also love. So I'm really loving the girl power vibe here. We're gonna open up these two blisters and see if they're worth it. I believe these blisters retail for like $13 or $14.99, depending on where you buy them. And if you're shopping at a local shop, you can probably get them for a little bit cheaper. Uh, they come with one promo card and two or three booster packs. So the promo card that's featured in the blisters, the first one is your Tinkaton EX promo card. I don't like this one as much as I like the uh, Latias. The main reason being is you don't get as much foiling on this card as you do with the Latias because uh, Tinka Ton has taken up a lot of the foreground. But it's still a great artwork by Dom nonetheless. I love the artwork, but once again, Cosmo foiling is a little bit disappointing on this one. So I'm happy to have that card, but it's definitely the weaker of the two cards in my opinion. And then you get your three booster packs. Now this set features a lot of great stuff. It features uh, brand new SIRs. Brand new IRs, including the two promos of Squirtle and uh, Bulbazar, and a lot of great EXs and a lot of great trainer cards. And some of the popular Pokemon that are in this set include Lapras and Cinderace. There's also a Hydrapple. There is a Terrapagos and a Galvantula, as well as some beautiful trainers such as Lacey. And that is my current chase card right now is Lacey SIR. I have already pulled the Hydrapple in Japanese. And because I'm not a master set collector, I just like having one of whatever card I get. So I don't mind. By the way, this set does feature new energies. I cannot wait till we get foil versions of these because I think they're going to look amazing. So with that being said, we're going to see what we can pull out of this set today. We're going to see if we can pull anything amazing out of six packs. We're also going to kind of see how the pull rates of the set look overall with our upcoming product releases for this week. So here is Lacey. You shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. And if your opponent has three or few prior uh, prize cards remaining, draw eight cards instead. That could be a great one-off. Oh, so we're going to start off with a Sparkling Crystal. That's actually pretty solid. It's not the best uh, tr uh, A spec in the set, but it's still a pretty good one. When you tear a Pokemon this card is attached to, uses an attack. The attack costs one energy less. Not bad at all. And then we're going to get a Rapidash Reversed. And then an out Creamy. That's actually really cute really really loving that card that is actually going to go into my artwork binder um as you can see the pink girl vibes are really strong today there are some other cards in here that i'm going to be looking through at a later date because there are a lot of great artwork such as that lapras such as that froakie and i'll be adding those to my common artwork binder i definitely recommend starting one of those if you are a collector collecting artworks is just really fun to do especially because there's no real like I guess you can say like incentive to spending high dollars to collect those cards. Like for example, you could say, I really love ghost Pokemon and just collect common ghost types and collect all the favorite artworks. Or if you love really, really detailed artworks, you can collect, some, uh, collect something like the Vicavolt. Or if you want to feature Pokemon that have a trainer in the background, you can uh, collect something like that Veluza. So you can definitely do something. This is 100% one of those cards for me. I really love this LeChonk. I don't think LeChonk has had a bad artwork since he's been in the TCG, but that is definitely a good one. Chin Chow, and then a Garganackle EX. So Garganackle EX has an ability called Salty Body. Can't be affected by special conditions, so could be pretty solid if special conditions ever become meta. And then Block Hammer for a fighting and double colorless, 170. Your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 60 less damage from attacks. I don't ever see this card really taking off as something great. Still a cool card nonetheless. Lei Chonk is 100% gonna get one of those beautiful uh, sleeves here. We're gonna add Lei Chonk into the stack. Last pack of the Tinka Tongue Blister. We got one hit so far. I'm hoping to get at least two to three hits overall. With six packs, you would at least want, ooh, really cute Meryl. You want at least your uh, 
at least one of your cards or one of your blisters to have a hit. So, let's see. Unfortunately, just a clean cling. And then a Zara Aura, which is also a nice artwork as well. So, not too much in the Tinkaton blister, but now we're moving on to our main event. This is the La Tios blister. This is the one I am excited to open up. So we got Latios promo here. Code card, by the way, for anybody who wants the Latios promo. Beautiful card. No swirl, unfortunately. It looks like, oh, no, never mind. There's one right under his wing. Very nice. Got Mist Float. If this Pokemon has a Psychic Energy attached, it has no retreat cost. And for two seconds, I'm going to color list it does Psychic Spear for 100. So 100%, not a card that's really going to be playable. But 100%, it is a card that is going in the binder. So that is awesome. And then we got three more booster packs. So we got a total of six booster packs. Roughly $25 is what you would pay for these two blisters. So six packs for about $25 and two awesome promos is not a bad deal. But we're going to see if these last six packs can give us something uh, good. Really, really would love to pull that Lacey. Let's get it. So we got a Yamask. Some nice ghost types here. Carnivine. Belooza. Briar, who's also got a beautiful SIR in this set. Electivire, Togan Demaru. <gasps> Holy shit, we pulled the Galvantula SIR. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. Wow. Holy shit. Followed by a Dreadnought, which really looks nice. That artwork's great. But holy shit, guys, look at that. That is amazing. Galvantula EX SIR. Pretty well centered. Quality doesn't look too terrible. Might have to consider this for a future PSA sub. For now, I will put this in a penny sleeve. And then I'll consider whether it'll be binder or PSA submission at a later date. But that is stunning. All right, so I say 100% we profited or at least got our pool's worth in this box. All right. Uh, Kura Sushi Place. It's Sushi. Yeah. Downtown. Alright. So, pack number two. Duraludon's just got revealed to have a beautiful, um, SIR coming up in the Paradise Dragona set. A lot of Pokemon fans are disappointed with that. They said it looks like a regular full art. I actually like it. I like the mecha, like, design. A really beautiful so so that's so so right yeah see i love so so because the artwork is so distinct that i could tell that without even being able to see the name because my phone was blocking it 100 percent a binder card talon flame ponyta and a buffalant by gosan all right so we got the last pack let's send some positive vibes in the comment section below and let's see if we can get one more hit I know it's a little greedy to ask for something else besides that Galvantula. But man, oh man, did we uh hit some fire. Last trumpet. You can use this card only if you have Terra Pokemon in play. Choose two of your bench colorless Pokemon and attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of them. That actually might be good in the future. Holy shit! Wow, this was a lit blister. Latias coming in clutch with the Zara Aura art rare or illustration rare. Wow, that is a stunning card. One of the best arts in this set, in my opinion. Really, really nice card. That blister was insane. I knew Latias wouldn't let me down. My favorite legendary giving me one of the best three pack blisters I've opened up in quite a long time. Really, really nice. I don't know which one's my favorite pool, if I'm being honest. I think both of these are stunning. And they're both electric, which is really nice, too. So let me know down in the comment section below. From that blister, which of these two pools was your favorite? Absolutely insane, though. Really, really good blister. I am super stoked about that one. We got a beautiful Soso Drift Bloom. We got some other beautiful cards. So with that being said, my review of these three-pack blisters. Do I think they're worth the purchase? Yes, I do. I think if you're not buying a booster box, if you're looking for a uh, product where you can kind of just buy 
something that's quick and easy great value for the amount of packs you're getting i think three pack blisters are usually the way to go i think they are great in terms of like pull rates usually you you have a chance of pulling something great from the blisters as you've seen in this video but most importantly i just think they're good products overall i think you get a nice little promo i know most of the three pack blister promos end up being worth less than a dollar but they're always really nice in terms of artwork and the considering that you're pretty much just paying msrp for three packs when you buy these at the store or if you find these at a local shop you're usually paying a little bit less than msrp for three packs i think it's a product that's worth buying i would easily rate these products an eight out of ten um, I think they're great products and I think if you were shopping for a quick little grab you wanted to rip some quick packs You could either buy your sleeve boosters or you could buy a three pack and I don't think you're going wrong with either of those Now if you're looking to spend a little bit more money Obviously, I would say hey go ahead and just shell out the money and get a booster box instead Or maybe get an elite trainer box or something like that something that gives you a little bit more bang for your buck But I think truly and honestly that this product is 100% worth it if you wanted to pick it up with that being said, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the opening. Let me know down in the comment section below which which hit of the day was your favorite. Uh, Galvantula or Zeraora? Now, if you happen to be somebody who really loves the Garganacle EX, you could say that too. But I don't think there's going to be many of you out there, if I'm being honest. But with that being said, let me know which one's your favorite down in the comment section below. And as always, remember to keep it classy and stay awesome.